Hey church family, I hope you're all doing well. I uh, just wanted to quickly chat with you today because I just, I'm getting this very strong sense that everybody is operating in on this level of fear and uncertainty. Um, it's almost like, you know, we, we, we've been going through this constant battle of, you know, COVID, the fears around the illness, um, it, there was this moment where it seemed to subside and get better and everyone started to sort of get back to some kind of normal. And now there's this so-called third wave that's just kind of punched us in the gut. And um, if you have any friends and family in the north, uh, Joburg area, you know that it's been hit very hard. And it seems like more and more people are testing positive and having very negative symptoms than, than before. So I understand that there's this whole new level of awareness and um, uncertainty and definitely a lot of fear. And I, and I definitely personally have new respect for this illness, um, having been hit by it myself and feeling the very, very real symptoms of it, not even the worst of it. I mean, I, by God's grace, I didn't have to go to hospital but this thing is bad. It takes you down, it takes you out, and it's it's like a, it decommissions you in a big way. <clears throat> so it it is bad. Uh, we're not going to downplay that. And people are dying. We cannot downplay that at all. Um, hospitals are full, and people are suffering. And so this is this is not to not acknowledge that. This is not to. Uh, try to minimize the seriousness of the situation at all. Um, I just believe that it's important for us to remind ourselves that no matter what the circumstances are like, being worse, feeling worse, looking worse, more bad reports than good, no matter what any of this stuff is, we cannot allow this to make us forget what the truth of the word of God is. We cannot allow this to steal the truth of the word of God. I want to remind you guys that we have been seeing from the word of God for weeks and months now that he is sovereign. He is on the throne. That his word is the most important authority in our lives. That the circumstances of life cannot trump the truth of the word of God. And that we should expect trials and tribulations. That we should react to trials and tribulations with joy, with glory. That's what the word of God tells us. And that if we are faithful and patient and endure, that we will come on the other side stronger. These are the facts of life. It is very, very real right now. And it seems harder than ever to read the word of God and apply it in these difficult circumstances. I know I've been struggling and battling with it myself. But when we do get stuck into the word, when we stand on the word, when we hold on to that foundation, that substance, Hebrews 11, 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, we are, we are seeing all this evidence of illness and we are seeing all these horrible things that we are facing but we have to know by faith because of what God has told us in his word and what he has told each and every one of us individually that that substance still stands and that substance means more than the physical things we see in and around us so this is a call to us as a church to be reminded to not just have our eyes on the things that are happening right now, but to keep our eyes on Jesus. As we are walking on the substance he has given us, like Peter was walking on the water, it is imperative for us to keep our eyes upon Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. The storms are raging. Yes, the waves are massive and overwhelming and loud. The news out there is scary. But you know what? In Christ, there is peace. In Christ, there is rest. And in him, there's healing and breakthrough. Let's hold on to that. 
Let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus. No matter what the storms look like, no matter what the waves are looking like around us, we enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Psalm 100 verse 4. Come on, let's hold on to that. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus. Let's stay focused on the prize at, at the end of this. We know that God is with us through the trials. We know that he is in it with us. He carries us. He strengthens us. And if we lose people to and, and they, they go to him, we know that they are going to him and that God is the, the one that will also comfort us through the pain. He is the one that will heal us if we are going through the illness. He is the one who is with our children and our loved ones as they go through this. Keep praying. Keep standing on the word of God. Do not let this thing steal your peace and your rest. Do not let this thing bring fear into your life and take over your life. Because we have not been given a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. That is what we have and we can stand on that. So I hope that you are encouraged, that you are reminded of all the things we have talked about. Please go and listen to our podcasts. Go watch the videos again. Be reminded of what God has been doing in our midst through his word. All those things are still true. The truth doesn't change because circumstances are difficult. It is right now that we have to actually apply these truths more than ever so that we can get through this, get on the other side, be stronger and help others to do the same. All right. God loves you. He is with you and he is carrying you through this. You can do it because he is with us. Holy Spirit is with us. He's guiding us. He's leading us. Remember that. Stay strong in your worship. Stay strong in your prayer. Stay strong in the word and God will carry us through this. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless you.